What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on the Space Engineers Inspiration series. We're starting things off today with the Yulcaster... Uh... I forget the name. Yulcaster, I remember that part. It's a, a carrier cruiser or something to that effect? I don't know. Look up the... You guys know me by this point. Look up the description. It'll tell you what you need to know, what I can't. Um... This is actually a pretty interesting looking ship, though. I really like the idea of it, uh, particularly the fly-through hangars. I like that idea because uh, they're smaller and uh, they take up less of a profile and you can kind of just fly in and fly out the other side. Um, I do like that it's a bit on the utility side in terms of how it's designed. It's got a cool kind of aesthetic to it of something I could see actually being the way you would design a real ship of like, you know, thrusters go here in these little pods, uh, that kind of thing. So I thought it was kind of cool uh, and I figured I would show it off. I initially did have a couple of different picks I was going to do this uh, this episode, but a couple of them would not load right because the mod list wasn't complete, and so it was it was causing like the thing to break. Um, so I ended up picking some alternatives. Though I have to admit, I had to go through probably a page or two just to get past all of the uh, builds that got posted. I believe they were posted by um, Sectem. I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be said or not. Uh, but it was for, I think, the moon landing scenario or something, and it had like a bunch of new builds to it or something, so it took up a huge check chunk of the workshop this week. Um, now, one thing I find interesting is I can't find a door. Okay, there's a main door. Yay, we found a main door. Is it on both sides? No, that's interesting. Okay. Now, another feature this has is it's supposed to have automatic uh, hangar functionality. But perhaps it doesn't detect me as a player and it's looking for a ship. I could actually confirm that theory real quick. Uh, let's see if it's set up to detect player. No. Okay. So we'll leave that for now. But it, in the description, it walks through some various different protocols that it has. The lights will blink at certain times. Uh, the doors will do certain things. Yada, yada, yada. So bear that in mind. Oh. It does look like... Oh. Now it is. Okay. Right there, it looks like we lost gravity. Yeah, there it is. I thought we were going to be stuck with mag boots the whole time. Ugh. You guys know how much I love those. Alright. I can't figure out what door I'm selecting. Hydrogen storage is this away. So we got some hydrogen storage over here. Um, according to the description, this will do moon, atmosphere, with uh, ion thrusters and it will do it can do planetary atmosphere as long as it's got hydrogen thrusters running so we've got um the main reactor here we got the main cargo access over here there's supposed to be an elevator which intrigues me because this is vanilla build uh looks like we have the medical readout there hydrogen storage over on that side probably going to be the same thing and then I imagine... Oh, this goes to the hangars. I thought this would go to the bridge. So let's check out the hangars as they are kind of the main event in this build. Kind of thing. They take up a good chunk of the ship. Let's see here. We've got H1A? H1C? How do, where'd B go? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what that does. So as you can see, we've got readouts on the side there of um, the danger warning, hangers depressurized, uh, and the lights are blinking. And then we've got the openings here. Now, um, again, as I mentioned before in the descriptions as well, it describes these as a fly-through hangar, which as you can see there, it's basically you could dock and then you could leave, you don't have to turn your ship around. So you could fit a bit larger ship in this one than you normally would. Oh, they close up on their own. That's kind of cool. I guess you have a certain amount of time to get out of the out of the hangar. Um, but you could. This would allow you to actually fit a little bit larger ship in here than what you would normally do, because you don't have to have enough room for it to get back out. It can just fly straight through. So that's kind of cool. I do kind of like that. I imagine these will all look the same. But we'll run through them just to make sure. Let me in. Uh, then we have a cargo access there. So yeah, pretty roomy. 
Pretty roomy if you're looking for a, a carrier hanger. I really don't like automated scripts. I mean, I do, but I don't like dealing with them in my inspiration episodes because they don't matter. It's like, open the door. Come on, open the door. There we go. All right, so let's check out this elevator now because I'm marginally intrigued by vanilla elevators. Ooh, especially one that works that well. Well, now. This functions rather well. Well, if I can get it to go back down again. Does it not go back down? Is it a one-way elevator? Oh, there we go. That's interesting. Very interesting. I still don't know what's actually triggering this or if there's a wait time in between or maybe if you have to leave first. It's looking like you have to leave first and then it triggers it so you have to go all the way to the door. Just in case anyone was having trouble with that. Like me. Alright, so we have gyroscope controls over here. Or I mean access over here. Cargo containers, we've got oxygen generators. I do believe this was listed as a survival ready. Just for any of you that are actually interested in using it for your survival playthroughs. You have a medical room there. So although the cryo chambers are downstairs, there's a medical room up top here. We have a vent. All right, so we have the main bridge up here, seems like. Observation, oh, you know I like an observation deck. Cool. So this is kind of neat too, it looks out over the rest of the ship. And then you have like an observation deck off the back, so that's pretty cool, I like it. I'm a fan. All right, so what do we got here? As I said before, you'll need these hydrogen thrusters, I guess, to, well, Maybe you just need them on. I'm not sure. This is this looks like an override. Um, but you'll need these on to if you're going to fly it in a planet atmosphere. Otherwise, the ions will do. But let's go ahead and give her a whirl. So acceleration is not too bad. It probably would move a little bit differently if you actually had a full company of uh, or accompaniment of fighters in your hangars as well. It would add to the weight. But it moves pretty good. I like it. Overall, I approve. Uh, so with that, that's going to do it for this one. Let's move on to the next one. Alrighty, so next up we have an interesting build. This is a vanilla Warhammer 40k build called the Hammer of Orion. Now, if I'm understanding the description correctly, which I glanced over most of it, I didn't read it super thoroughly, uh, but this is considered a freestyle Warhammer 40k style build, which if I'm reading that correctly would mean that this is not actually a one-to-one -one recreation of anything, but in the same style of it. I'm not 100% sure because I've never actually played any of the Warhammer 40k stuff, though admittedly I've seen enough of these builds on Space Engineers that it kind of has me interested because their ship designs are just cool and they're just different. It's like I don't know, like, you can just see a build like this and go Warhammer 40k. You know, like me, you don't even have to have played the game bef the game series before, you just know. Because they just... What other designs look like that? Nothing. It just... That's just what they look like. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So I'm not really sure because I've never played that franchise whether or not it's a, it's a recreation of anything, or if it's literally just a freestyle going, I'm kind of going for that type of look. I'm not really sure, but that's how I interpreted it. Um, this is a very, a fairly interesting build in that it was, I believe, designed for PvP. Uh, and it's designed kind of with ramming tactics and things like that in mind, hence the huge, like, battering ram thing on the front. I believe the, the description even said the whole thing's built out of heavy armor, which is crazy to me, because that's, that's a lot of armor. Um... So it is vanilla, as I mentioned earlier, which is oddly impressive to me because of how different everything looks. I mean, we've even got like this kind of stuff going on with the, the little pointy star-like shapes almost. Um, or not, yeah, maybe more of a spearhead than a star. Um, arrowhead type look, I guess. But anyways, you know, all that stuff's vanilla. Obviously, we've got stuff like this, this textures 
but I don't think that really quantifies as a mod. Um, especially since I didn't have to load in any mods to make it work. You have these kind of cool things, too, that look like custom turrets, which just look mean and intriguing, to be honest, and how they work. Anyways, that's more of a reverse engineer's <laughs> type thing. I gotta remember I have two series of this now. Um, so yeah, on the outside, looks pretty darn cool. I'm not gonna lie. I have to admit that these builds have got me a little bit to where at some point I probably should look into the Warhammer series because I know next to nothing about it other than it's like space space marine people versus orcs and they have really crazy cool looking ships. That's about all I know. That That's it. That's pretty much all I know. Uh, but yeah, really, really cool. So let's go ahead and check out the inside. The, uh, the CIS and lower deck is down this way. Now, I know what a CIC is. I'm not really sure what CIS is standing for. Um, custom turret guy. The up and down movement has been long. Okay, so there's... You can actually control the turrets manually, it looks like. The custom ones, which is cool. We've got lower deck down this way. Ooh, it's actually kind of roomy down here. Ooh, it's very roomy down here. Okay. This, it's a weird build, because even though it's a large grid, it actually looks a bit smaller for a large grid build, so I didn't expect there to be this much of a spacious interior. Like, the interior, I kind of expected you have to have all the guts, but, um, this has a lot more, like, room in it. You have these taller ceilings, you got the emblems on the walls, all that kind of stuff. Be cool. Um, it did emphasize that the ship can be used by a minimum of four people. So you could do boarding tactics if you had enough people. Hence the boarding rooms. We've got guns and bottles. It's a great, it's a great title. Guns and bottles. It sounds like a pirate ship. We got guns and we got bottles. We're good to go. Um, so it looks like this is just going to be like a drop off land on somebody's ship kind of thing. I'm assuming this is the bottom. Oh, it's the bottom of the battering ram. That's kind of cool. So you'd smash into the ship, pick up the nose, and then just kind of drop your people onto their ship. That's kind of a cool tactic. Interesting. Especially using mag boots, because you could just kind of hang out here and shoot from the doorway, I guess. Pretty nifty. Other than you have, to, you do have to crouch to get in there for some reason. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the... Whoa! Mag boot malfunction. That should be, like, some kind of series. Mag boot malfunction. I don't know just seems like that would happen quite often, but... Okay, so we're back up top here towards the maintenance area. I cut out for a second because I thought there might be some background noise going on. I had to make sure that it wasn't coming through. So we have a maintenance room. It doesn't really seem like much of a room as much as you can kind of get out here and make minor repairs and things like that. Uh, but there's no real, like, structure to it or anything like that. You kind of just walk wherever you can get. Um, so, yeah. Let's see. If we go up, back up towards the top. Where am I? I'm getting lost again. So that's the lower deck. Uh, I think this is where we came in from. Yes. Okay. So, dead ahead. Where does this go? So this looks like some kind of security area. I don't know. Guns and bottles. Guns and bottles everywhere, man. Um, I'm not sure what this is for. Welcome. Okay, so this is basically the, uh, the, the, uh, the lobby, I guess. Do ships have lobbies? <laughs> Capable of limited flight in gravity. So it did mention that in the, um, description that it can do moon-like gravity, but if it's fully loaded, then there's a possibility that it may not be able to sustain that, so keep that in mind. Um, and then there's some information here, a bit of lore, if you will. I, I think. Maybe it might just be statistics, I'm not sure. Uh, Alright, so... I don't know what some of this is for... Or, oh. Oh! Oh! There are exterior hatches. Well, now that's interesting. I didn't- I knew this not. Okay. So that's kind of different. So that's, a uh, It's one way to get on board the ship, I suppose. But that makes sense why this is here, then. This is, like, a security-type post. Okay. I was wondering why that was there. I was like, huh? 
Um, this is pretty awesome. I saw this in the screenshots and thought this is kind of cool. Not this part. I just wanted to see where this goes. This looks like it's some kind of sealable observatory area, maybe? Maybe to keep an eye on the guns? Maybe to work security for the conference room? I'm not sure, but this is cool looking. This is pretty awesome. I, I can't lie. I love this table design. Um, it looks like the table design even has labels. Like, who who's supposed to sit here, which is pretty awesome. Um, and then you've got, like, the poster of their leader. Uh, battle history, server politics. Again, uh, the description was said it was supposed to be for PvP, so that makes sense. Having a, a battle history type thing. Different information panels, planned missions, uh, general rules, etc. and so on. So it's kind of cool setup if you're into, like, PvP or multiplayer, where you have a server and this is, like, your... Uh, guild info or something. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I love the little pads for everybody. That's kind of cool. I like it. I love this room. And the decorum is really cool. I like the hanging lights and the emblems on the wall. It's really, really cool design. It's really well thought out. I like it a lot. That's why I said I really have gotten to where I've never seen a ship for Warhammer. Uh, that at least on the exterior didn't impress me and didn't have some cool, unique, interesting looking stuff on the interiors as well. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and check out how it flies. So we have turret controls. I don't see a lot of fixed weapons on this, so it looks like a lot of turret control stuff. Um, in truth, I don't even see a lot of remote controls to actually operate the turrets, but I think that's what the other things over here are for. So we have turret controls there. Uh, so we have a front. Ah, there we go. Remote. And then we'd have what? Front view. Two front views? Maybe one's an on-off and one's a view. Not sure. And then probably the toggle fire. So we can move that around. And then fire like a salvo. Oh, it's the front one over there. Okay, I was, uh, I was on a different one. So, yeah, they actually move really, really cool. I almost turned around and shot the ship. That would have been terrible. So, yeah, turrets work really nice. And for a ship this size, moves really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Plus, with the, the ramming tactic kind of thing, I guess you don't really need a lot of fixed weapons because you could just kind of run forward. It doesn't look like it decelerates very well, though, so bear that in mind. Uh, but with that, I think that's going to do it for this one. Let's move on to the last one. Alrighty, so last but not least, we have a fairly interesting ship that I wanted to I wanted to look at. Um, and no, before anyone asks, I am not even going to try to pronounce what in the world this ship is called, mainly because whatever it's written in, I don't speak that. So, uh, check the description. I'm gonna copy and paste the title so you'll know exactly what it is, but I have no idea how that's supposed to be said. Um, the description was also very light, and by light I mean non-existent, so I really have nothing to go on as for the purpose, point, or anything like that behind the ship. I just thought it looked really cool. It kind of reminds me of a Halo... kind of... pelican-ish? But it's not. It's not pelican enough to be a pelican, if that makes sense. Um, this is a world file. Ooh, there's my lights. This is a world file, so I have no idea if there's mods or not, other than if I spot one, then obviously I'll be able to tell. Uh, but yeah, I don't know any of the functionality or anything like that, because like I said, the description is kind of nil. But the screenshots that I saw of it looked pretty cool, especially the interior. I wanted to get a good look at the exterior first, but the interior looked fairly interesting. Uh, and it also looks like we've got a couple of different things going on. We've got a couple of seats up here, but it looks like a bridge down here. So I'm not really sure what that's about, but it's interesting to me. Um, and I honestly can't see anything that looks too moddy. 
So I'm not entirely sure that this is not a vanilla build. I don't really know, to be honest. I can't really tell. This is kind of cool, though. Right, wait, that, that might be a mod. Oh, I need a welder. Hold on. There we go. Uh, if I can get around this window... Custom... Okay, so there is some some modding going on here. If not if not just that, then there's, a, there's at least that one. That didn't make any sense, but you know what I meant. Okay, so in here... Now, one thing I do look for when it comes to... Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm going to go with that button. That's a pretty cool doorway there. Uh, one thing that I will say when it comes to small ships that typically you have mods for if you're not using the hypergrid stuff is things like this, where you need an interior door or certain kind of lights or I spy a refinery, stuff like that. So that's usually the most common places that I've seen uh, even if the even if the build doesn't do a lot of mods or anything like that, that's that's usually the first place I look for uh, for mods. Though if I could, oh that's weird. Oh that's weird. If you guys don't notice that that little shadow box is the actual typical glowy thing. Uh oh, what I do? Is that just the lights? Oh, okay. Wow, that's really weird. All right, so in the interior, we've got some panels and a whole lot of cool, basically digital greeble, essentially. There's no way all of this stuff means anything at the moment, especially since it's textures, but it's cool looking. Uh, this is kind of neat. I don't know if this is a mod or not. Win that up. Yeah, it has to be because small grids don't have that. This is cool, though, but I like that for a shelf unit. That's pretty neat. I'm gonna see if I can... There we go. I turned on caps lock so I'm actually walking because in this kind of an interior you kind of go all over the place really, really fast. So that's the bathroom. We've got... Oh, a nice little kitchen. And some bunks. This is very homey. It's very homey. I like it. Uh, so this is the main bridge. We'll use that last. That way we can check how she flies. Ooh, now that's cool. I don't know how they did that, but that's pretty neat. Other than... What am I stuck on here? There we go. Other than modding, obviously, but that's a cool... I don't know if that's a fish tank? Or what that's supposed to be. Overhead light. So this must be the captain's cab. Oh, that's cool! That is cool! That's basically a vanilla shower, but it's kind of cool how they did that. What is... What is this? Is that just a thruster? No, not the window. What is this thing right here in front of your face, you stupid welder? It just, it, it can't get it. It can't see it. <laughs> this thing is so dumb sometimes. All right, whatever that is, I think it's a thruster. Uh, it looks kind of like a hydrogen thruster, possibly. All right, so let's see. Oh, what's this button do? Oh, okay, that's the lights. Uh, so we didn't go upstairs. Let's see what that looks like up here. We've got a med station. Looks like an airlock. Oh, and then this goes to... This goes to those two cockpits. But I still don't know what these are for. I'm gonna end up outside. Oh! Not. That's cool. So let me guess. This is the way you're supposed to get into the ship. Right? Yep. Supposed to go in this way. Totally didn't see it at all. Oh, it's even got a little awning. That's pretty nifty. Alright. Now if we can just get back in. And now we'll go ahead to the main uh, bridge or cockpit or whatever. This is pretty cool. Also very roomy. Got some vents, some other things, lots of different screens. Can never have too many screens. Oops. Alright. 
So there's definitely some mods going on here. We've got a Vulcan gun, uh, looks like hinges, landing gears, thruster controls, uh, remote block. That's interesting. I wonder what that's for. Uh, let's try that first. Let's just see what that does. I'm not seeing it do anything, so I don't know what that does. Um, we've got our Gatling guns. Ooh! Or Vulcan guns, actually, is what they're really labeled as. I know what they are, but I want it. I want that mod. That mod is so cool. Whatever that is. Ooh, wow. Ooh, wow, it flies. Oh, my. Whew. Ooh. Oh, lordy. Oh, that's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun to fly. I broke something. <laughs> I have no idea what I broke, but you're not supposed to do whatever <laughs> I just did. Uh, it was totally for you guys' benefit, so that you could see that. Um, I knew exactly what I was doing. Just wanted to show you guys what'll happen if you fly recklessly in a ship like this. You're just not supposed to do that. Uh, with that little PSA out of the way, I think we're going to wrap things up here for this episode. Don't forget to leave your suggestion via the poll at the end of this video for which ship you'd like to see reverse engineered. But in the meantime, we're going to wrap things up here. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.